I am Gabby. And I'm Danny. And today we are back. We are doing Boy Stories Enough. So we did a teaser to this last week, but it ended up being blocked here in America. So I went ahead and took it down. So we shall see if this will be able to be uploaded. If not, then we will tell you guys where you can watch it at the end of, of the this video. video. So, keep, so, so yeah. stay tuned. Don't just click to the end. Don't be hateful. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, all right. Let's do this. Let's see what we can get because we know they're children. So, uh, so yeah. Okay. We'll try not to be weird. Yeah. But there. Oh, wow, this is already produced yes. really well. Oh, they're really cute. Um. Oh, he's adorable. They're so cute, but those masks are not doing anything. Oh, creepy, yeah. He's too big, too. The song, this song is actually really yes. jumped in. I'm just trying to take it all in. Are you scamming them? Oh, I thought he was scamming them. He's like five. They're not five. Okay, I'll give him a two. Okay. Just this music and this beat. Tell him, baby. He is so cute. They, they're so little, and it's like freaking me out. But I'm like, the where's your They're probably parents? not that young, though. Boys just stay little for a long that, time. He's a little kid. No. That ain't no little kid. I can see where you're going in a few years, sir. Kill it with the dance break. These new looks they're serving. I said, don't drink that. Yeah, please it's dirty. don't. you that please like where are your parents away where are your parents this little dance is so cute it is i feel like he's the oldest one out of all of them gotta be because he's too tall <laughs> he's like literally like a head tall I mean, than everybody like, else but i mean it's not saying much he looks to be like around maybe 14. Kill it. This beat goes too hard. Yeah, though. kill it. Oh, Not the fish. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll listen to children, sorry. Too good. Yeah, they really they are. Really are. Great. I mean, and like that I was said, great. we didn't show you the last video, but um, on that we said basically that K-pop groups are now going towards the new generation of fans. Yeah, fourth generation yeah, K-pop like stars eight, that like, are coming like up. Like eight, like sixteen-year-old girl, like kids that who, yeah. who are just now getting into like music, especially like you know they're not that BTS is really <sighs> popular, like getting into overseas music. That's what this really feels like. Yeah, and I get it that it's not for me. Oh, I loved it. Oh, I love, I love the song. And I, I love like, it. I love that it's not. I love the, the song is great. No, don't doubt that one. Yeah. But it's very clearly not aimed at our age. Yeah. Groups. No. 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 Like no. that's yeah. very, very apparent. And which, like, which don't get me wrong. If they had like an opening for like Got Seven mm -hmm. or Day Six, oh, we would be jumping. We'd oh be yeah. Screaming. We'd be dancing. I'm not calling nobody's names because I'm not trying to go to jail. But. Mm -hmm. 
I will say this, I think that boys stay, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but boys stay little looking for a lot longer than females do. Mm -hmm. And I think without looking this up, because we were totally wrong about NCT Dream about oh, yeah. how young they were. They were still, but, okay, they were still very young, but they weren't but as young as we thought. What I'm saying is that I think that this group is probably about 12 to 15. Like, I don't think anybody's any older, and I really don't think anybody's any younger. I hope not, that'd be weird. I, but, and that's the I really hope not. That no, one's I doubt really it. Young. He looks yeah, really, they all look really they young. They all look young, but like I said, boys stay looking younger mm -hmm. for a lot longer than females do. Like as soon as we get boobs, people assume that you're 20. Yeah. So that's not, you know what I mean? So unless you're me, and then. <laughs> but I think that this is such great exposure. Yes. This is what happens when you work hard as a trainee. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when all of your group has real talent and your production company thinks that you're ready to be out yep. there and ready to go because at this age and how young they look from our perception, like I said, they could be older, could be younger. We don't know because we didn't look it up. I'm sure you guys will tell us in the comments. But most people at this age would still be in the trainee stages. If we had a trainee program over here, I mean, cause obviously it, just one good example, Chloe and Halle, Haley? No, 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 no. The example is Beyonce Knowles' father mm. did a Beyonce bootcamp and people thought it was a joke, but he's literally essentially taking the same formula that K-pop does yeah. and he's giving you the tools and giving you something to strive with. Now, I'm not talking about him in general, but I'm talking no, about what, the program. What, he, what the idea. What, right, the idea is the same and like thing I said, as what Korea And Beyonce does. took that, she took Chloe and Haley, yeah. Chloe and Haley, however you, however you pronounce their names, yeah, I think it's, yeah, and she took them and, and she literally has had them on lockdown for years. They yeah. don't go nowhere, they don't do nothing, they nope. perform and go home. Yep, that they were literally it. on Grownish, and then they did their performances live and you don't hear about any drama with them. You don't hear about anything going on with them. No scandals, And that's no how nothing. it should be. Now, I'm not saying here in America we have everything figured out. I personally think in Korea, when you start off that young, it gives you structure and shows mm -hmm. you what to do and what not to do so you don't end up like to Justin be, Bieber. Yeah, and to be you fair, know, like, yeah. No, seriously, yeah, because yeah. he really didn't have a childhood, so when he became famous, he started to act crazy, whereas in Korea you see the structure and... And companies don't tolerate that bullshit. And they have, they don't. And honestly, they they'll give, send you home. They give you what you need. You, they yeah. give, and like I said, unless you're like a solo artist, which is very, exactly, very rare. Exactly, which is rare but in you Korea have, versus you have here in America. Friends, you have people you can talk to. You have people that go everywhere with you every single day. Yeah. You know, you're not isolated. You're not alone. alone. Again, the things that are popular from Korea that come over here and that are popular are the hip hop and the rap and like the really sexy girls. And then, oh, but over there, y'all all kind of have the same consumption. Over in Japan, you have the idol groups. Yeah. And you have the singers and, you know, the people do the anime openings and stuff like that. In China, they have the stuff for the dramas and, you know, everything else. So I can, I can understand why, you know, they would want to keep their market mm -hmm. as close as it is. And, yeah. you know, this is, this is going to be a song that's going to be popular. A group will yes. be popular anywhere they go, honestly. Because I think their so sound too. is very universal. Yeah. But also, we I said this in the last video when we did this, but like I said, you guys didn't see it. K-pop mm -hmm. is very political, and Korea and China have a lot of issues. You will forever see, like, there was a while ago where Lei from EXO, who is Chinese, everybody knows EXO has Chinese members and Korean mm -hmm. members, mm -hmm. he would go literally play ambassador and try to smooth things over with China and Korea, and I honestly think that's what JYP Entertainment is trying to do mm -hmm. with this. I'm not saying it's a ploy by any means, because you do have to be talented to make it into an agency, mm -hmm. and clearly their talent speaks for itself, but this is a good representation of some people are willing to make it work. I think that on the same accord with this, I'm not saying that I think they're gonna have a comeback anytime soon by any means, but this right now is good exposure. This is not their first song. They've had, I think, two songs released in China, and this is their first Korean release, but this song was in Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. But I don't think they'll be back for like another two or three years. And I honestly, I'm okay with that because oh, like, yeah. that gives them time to, like I so said, they're good, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of polish they could do. Like I said, like the, just, they, they, they have a little bit of growing up to do. Yeah. And it's not that they weren't good, not that they, their dance was No, good, they the were all good, on point, but, but their just, age is still, it, this is just our opinion, not talking about anybody else. 
because we all know this is the stage they would still be in training. Mm -hmm. So for me to keep that in mind, I feel like with that being said, they're still too young to be like, exposure, give me the fans, yeah, to, be, to the girls. To be, like, uh, to be out here touring. That's really yeah, what I feel. I feel to like be, they're too young They're fine. That. They're fine at home. He said, I think they're ready. I think they're good to go. We're going to finish up this video. Wrap it up. Make sure you guys follow us on Snapchat, Woo! Twitter, Woo! and Instagram. Woo! We will see you guys probably next week with another video. Bye. Bye. She don't love me, Nick, and artificial